mixing colors. Mm -mm. Nope, mixing custom colors, etc. I'm trying to make a bright red, right? Red. I just want it to be like a real bright red with almost like a pink. Hey, everybody. We're going to do a pour because it's pouring down rain. It's not really that bad, but it's probably 65 degrees out. It's raining. And we got inspired to do a teal and red and gold pour. So another reason why we decided to do this is because we wanted to test this new resin that we just used on some countertops. We'll see how that's set up tomorrow, but we wanted to see how it would work with mixing in tints and all that stuff. So we're going to try it with regular acrylics, with craft paint, with ink, and with spray paint, and with the Mayron body powder. I don't know if powder. we spray paint. Then... Okay, we can just use the Mayron. So we're going to test it with all these different types of paints and see how it reacts. The reason why we use this instead of the regular Envirotex light that we usually use, there's some right there, the black. The reason why we're using this is because this stuff is supposed to be some of the strongest for bar tops. It's I should have printed it out, but it's basically, it doesn't react to UV. It's UV resistant. It resists bacteria. It's the least, um, how do I say that? Like it scratches the least of all the resins that I've done research on. Um, I can't even remember the PSI that it can withstand, but it also is water resistant, alcohol resistant, chemical resistant, and you can put up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit on it or 260 degrees Fahrenheit. Celsius, babe. Celsius. Oh, Celsius. Sorry. Numbers. You know. So 500 degrees Fahrenheit, 260 degrees Celsius, which is bananas. That's over twice the boiling water. So in terms of, you know, what we use for our countertops and things like that, it'd be really great if we can get this to work like we get the Envirotex light to work. So this is a test on many levels as well as doing a pretty piece of artwork. So to prep this, we prepped it like we do all of our canvases. This is on a gallery wrap canvas. Basically, we gesso it down um, or you can use house paint. And then we sand it and we paint it, we sand it. And this creates a tighter tension on the surface so that it doesn't bow in the middle. If you want to see a full tutorial of that, check out this link right here and it gives a full tutorial. But to sum it up, we just paint it, sand it, paint it and sand it and that tightens up the canvas. I think that was thunder. It was a diesel tractor. Over there. That's twice I'm wrong in three minutes. I'm doing good. So for this red that we're using, it's a combination of three of those. It's a hot pink. <laughs> three of those, just all that. Yeah, it's just three look at that, of pick one some. Of those. It's well of three of and those. Two more, and then also two more. If you guys want to know the formula for that one, I'll put it in the comment box below. So this is a two-part resin, so it's a one-to-one -one ratio, and it says to mix it thoroughly. It's basically just like every other resin we've used. It's got about the same consistency, thickness. It's a little thicker. Is it a little more like a honey? Mm. Should we have heated it up? Probably. For a heat up pro tip, check out right. Boink, boink, boink. Boink, boink. On how we work with thicker resins. So the reason why we put a clear down first is because resin will roll over itself easier than it will raw. I mean, what's the word? On just a canvas. So if you work with watercolors, then you know 
how that works, that water will follow where it's been. Same with resin. So we do just a thin coat of clear before we put any colors down. Are we doing a, a puddle pour? Yeah. So of the colors I have up here, we're not using a white, we're using this to act as the light shade. It is sky blue light number 551 by Amsterdam. We're doing something new. Well, not that new if you've watched our videos for a little while. It's a powder body paint. This is by Mayron. It also comes in a silver and a bronze, I think. We're using gold. And Mayron, if you're watching, we've sent a lot of people. I don't know if you noticed. Maybe we can tag Mayron. A lot of people have actually gone and bought that powder because of our videos. So, so if there's a spike in the purchase of your gold body paint. And a lot of people ordered the silver as well. And the silver. It's because of our video. You're welcome. You're welcome. Um, the next color we're using is Peacock Teal by Deco Art. I think this is like a satin finish. We're using Bombay Turquoise by Doc Martin. We're using Bombay Magenta by Doc Martin. And then our mystery concoction. Okay, while he's Oh, I guess I should watch how much we put in each. It doesn't take much. Typically, we put in a little at a time. Measure out how much resin you want per color before you, like, don't put the paint in your cups first because you can always add more. Can't take it away, obviously. So for the inks, we usually use about a dropper full. And for... The thicker paints, like the craft paint and the acrylics, we usually just put a drop, I guess. So while he's doing that, we use mural paint markers. I don't know where you can get this in stores. It's not at Hobby Lobby in our area or Michael's or Joann's. You may have to order it online. It's mural paint markers, and this color is Stop. How appropriate. I know, but Azel's not like a national. We mixed in also some Createx airbrush color in fluorescent hot pink. And there was another one. I believe it was Primary Red by Art District. If you put too much paint in, it will turn into a marshmallow fluff consistency, and that is not a good time to try to spread around. Which I think I just did. Do you want to take some gold? It's starting to get warm already. It's like putting paint in this, it makes it, like it doesn't, look at that. Mm -hmm. Like it's not flowing. I think it's, it's mainly with the, the thick paint. paint. Well, that's what tests are for, will you? This is what that gold body paint mixture looks like. Beautiful. If you're new to the channel, you'll be excited to see what this turns out like. This is so bad. I don't, I don't like it. Just leave it to the side because I don't want the rest of your colors to start setting up. Well, it's not setting up. It's just... It just gets thick. I don't... Your other ones are still workable. <sighs> Clear. So see these little tiny bubbles that are in it? Yeah, you can see them. 
putting heat on it erases the bubbles. You can use a heat gun, you can use um, a torch. If you use a torch, make sure you're away from all open flames, obviously. Oh, what? If you use a torch, make sure you're away from all open flames. Yeah, like big open flames, you could it could be a problem, right? You have to be careful around other forms of flamery. <laughs> because you already have a flame in your hand, I don't. Yeah, it could further combust. I don't get it. I don't understand your. Just know <clears throat> that it's science. It's really, it's really not. It's e-science. I believe that. <clears throat> I don't have a rag. I'd hand it to you. That gold is just amazing. I haven't seen a color it's next to that. Oh God, this is so thick. Okay, so now we know it's not good with craft paint. It did that with the white on those countertops too. It got thick quick. This one's not as thick. That's the ink? Yeah, but it doesn't look like, I think this is like an opaque ink. It doesn't look like this. You can't like see through it. Hmm. Which I wanted to be able to see through it. Jesus. That is just really blows my mind that it gets thick like that. Is it hot? No, not at all. It's just... Marshmallow fluff? What a fucking waste. Now I have to meet that. I wanted, I wanted a light color. <clears throat> Do you want to just put some raw white in it? Like spray paint? I cannot believe how thick that gets. Well, now we know. You think it was just the amount or like, did you put the same amount of like mm, that I, paint? I don't know, babe. I just put it in there. I want the colors to look like this teal. I want them to be clear, like transparent. It's really interesting that'll focus.
See all those little flecks of gold coming through? That is not a reflection. That is just bits of gold just popping up. Oh my god, it's like already setting. I wish I would have put gold in the middle. Do you have any left? You got a little bit in here. Do you want me to put it on it? Do you want to put it on it? Oh. That's crazy. Not going anywhere. <laughs> Give me a straw. Look at that. And now I wish the camera could really see what's going on with that. It's absolutely bananas. Never seen something sell like that that wasn't white. Well, we did black that one time, but. That looks, yeah. This reminds me of Journey, for the uh, the band Journey, their album cover. It reminds me of like a psychedelic cenote. And I can't even handle these cells. Let me put it on this so I can see if it's level. <clears throat> Is that bright red, the red that you made? Mm -hmm. All right, I will put the description of that red in the description box below for sure. Right, let me... 